then so today I am doing my yearly favorites so basically if I could only pick you know one thing from each category for high-end and drugstore like what are my holy grails so some of these products are new favorites and then some of them have been favorites since the beginning of the year there's a good mixture here a lot of these you would have already seen me use a lot in my videos so I bet some of you will be able to guess some of the upcoming favorites my hair is a bit of a freaking mess right now but that's fine we're gonna jump straight in and then my next two videos are going to be tutorials using these products I'm going to do a full face of my holy grail high-end products and the same for drugstore keep an eye out for those two videos coming to you in the next few days so Yay! Let's go straight to primer. I'm going to start with high-end because I actually have three high-end ones. First off, no surprise, Too Faced Hangover. I've gone through two of these this year. You guys have seen me use this a ton in my videos. I still love it. It's just not been in as many videos lately because I did use it so religiously that I've kind of been trying new things, but it will always be a hard out favorite of mine. It is so creamy. It smells like coconut. It is delicious and it hydrates my skin like nothing else it is so good especially in winter if your skin is dehydrated or anything like that it is just prime so 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 good the next one probably not a surprise either the origins original skin pore perfecting it cooling out primer with willow herb and so many people don't like this but for me it is a holy grail my friend Michaela loves this as well it's her holy grail I just find it so fun to use it comes out like a foam so it's not a liquid moisturizer type primer like the previous hangover one and it smooths the shit out of my skin like seriously it makes my skin look so smooth and perfect and I just love the way it feels it's just a perfect base for any foundation to go on top of it just makes my skin look like porcelain like I'm obsessed with it I love this when I want to do some pore filling and stuff like that it is so good and just so fun to use like I said this is the it Becca first like priming it filter and it is lavender and it is so hydrating and it really brightens up my skin and gives me like the most perfect glow so if you love a glowy and hydrating primer this one is for you kind of color creates and just brightens everything about your face <laughs> that was a really weird way to say it but you know what I mean like it's just so glowy can you see how fresh that looks compared to the other hand like so nice but if you don't want to shell out my drugstore favorite this year has hands it down got to be this covergirl primer and it actually comes in different ones there's like a clear one a green one and another one or two I think these are new by covergirl the true blend base business this is the pore minimizing one and it is very similar to the becca one but this one also kind of corrects your pores but it's still very hydrating and moisturizing it's just a little bit thicker and it makes your skin so smooth makes your skin glow fills in your pores it is so freaking good like this is just as good as my high-end primers I'm obsessed with it I've used so much of this it is so good and you guys have to give it a try especially now they are cruelty free it's amazing I wonder if you guys can guess this this is my NARS Natural Radiance Foundation. This is my favorite by far. I've got three different colors and I am obsessed with it. I did do a first impression, I'll link it below, and it is just so smooth, perfect coverage. It's definitely taken over as my holy grail from Sheer Glow by NARS, which was my favorite for years. I'm talking like five years. This is even better. It is incredible. I love the packaging. I take it everywhere with me. It's my like first choice. I have to force myself to use other foundations in my videos so it doesn't get boring. This is my favorite foundation ever. Like I love it. It's so perfect on me. And then the drugstore. I've had so many drugstore favorites this year. I feel like I've had even more drugstore favorites than high-end favorites when doing first impressions from like LA Girl, Wet n Wild, Milani, like all these different brands have put out so many good products. But the favorite would have to be my Wet n Wild foundation, the Photo Focus. I said in a video, I did a whole video about it, I'll link below also, that it's a perfect dupe for the YSL Fusion Ink, I think this is called, Le Tint. Um, this is like one of my all-time favorite foundations. It's discontinued. This is such a good dupe and it lasts so well on me but where some people hate it but a lot of people love it as well it is really affordable so I think it's worth the risk and it's also cruelty free which is amazing and it's just so incredible I need to use it more often I haven't used it in a while but it's hands down probably the drugstore foundation that impressed me the most this entire year and yeah I, I used it a lot when I first got it you'll see it obviously in my upcoming tutorial using all of my drugstore favorites from this video for powder we'll go on on top of that drugstore theme 
This CoverGirl powder was definitely my favorite powder from the drugstore this year. I need to use it more often. I do think the colors are a little bit odd, but the formula is literally just as good as my high-end product powder which I'll show you now. I've actually got two, because these are almost identical as well. So these and the CoverGirl ones like all literally wear the same on me, look the same on me, same coverage, same quality. They're all literally like dupes for each other in my opinion. So these, I couldn't choose which one. I use them both equally as much. If you guys watch my makeup tutorials, you know I use these pretty much every single time I do a tutorial. Cover FX Mineral Pressed Foundation and the Studio FX Powder. Both amazing. Literally could not live without at least one of these in my collection. I have them in like six different shades so that it matches no matter what. It's such good stuff, such good coverage, lasts forever. Just incredible. Probably should have done concealer before, so we'll go into that now. I think NARS definitely was my favorite like base products brand of the year because that concealer though, this was my favorite. Honestly, I use this all the time. This is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I use it in vanilla under my eyes and I use it in Punjab on my face. And and this is the most flawless, flawless concealer. I use it with a sponge. I just dip it in and dip it under my eyes or like wherever I need it. My friend the other day tried it over at my house. We were getting ready for Christmas. She was like, I need to borrow concealers. That'll go. I was like, yeah, you know, she asked me to choose her one that would not crease under her eyes because she said she gets the most awful creasing. And I was like, oh, just try this because it is my favorite. And she put it on and she was like, amazed. She was like, no concealer looks like this on me. She was like, this is flawless. I'm obsessed with this you guys it is by far probably my favorite concealer I've ever 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 used there's plenty of others I like but this will always be my favorite I can't imagine anything beating it for my drugstore concealer I definitely have to say it was my ColourPop no filter concealer I used this so so much and it really impressed me and it's so affordable so the color I have here is medium 30 I use this more on my face I also have some under my eyes as well but it's just so good it doesn't seem to crease too badly on me I definitely like the NARS one a bit more but this is still such a good option for drugstore it is so beautiful and you'll see it in this tutorial it's so nice and it doesn't feel dry or cakey or anything like that to set those my high-end I'm gonna call this high-end but it's still not that expensive in my Opinion. The um, Bare Mineral Summer Bisque. I finished this. Unfortunately, you can't even get it in New Zealand and Australia. I tried. I had to buy it on Ulta and get it shipped to New Zealand using a third party. For some reason, Mecca just doesn't sell this, but this is hands down my favorite. But the drugstore, this is actually a brand new favorite. So shocking but this is from Milani it's called translucent banana this is brand new it's their make it last setting powder I was blown away when I tried this I'll link the video where I tried it for the first time down below and I've used it a few times since and it is so bloody good it is so smooth and just such a good color it kind of matches my skin tone so it's not brightening but it's still just for some reason sinks in and just looks beautiful under my eyes you can also use it all over your face I do have the light to medium shade I think it's called that I use on my face as well and it's really good as well and I don't usually like like loose powders but I always find drugstore under eye powders are a bit hit and miss and this one is definitely a hit it's definitely the best one I've tried this year even though it's new like it's so good so definitely check that out not many of you guys may have tried that just yet but I would definitely recommend picking it up brows so honestly for drugstore there wasn't much um, I did choose the Milani easy brow tinted fiber gel because I did use this a lot this year and I really like it I don't think it's as good as my high-end option but I do think it's really good from the drugstore and I didn't really find another one that I liked as much as this from the drugstore Store. For pomades and stuff, I liked a few from like CoverGirl, Milani, Rimmel I think did one, did they? Some other brands, um, which I've used in my videos, but none of them stood out enough to mention them in this video, except for this. So I definitely recommend this if you're looking for an affordable brow gel. It's really, really nice. But still, honestly, Gimme Brow still takes over. This is my favorite. I'm not even gonna talk about it much. It's my favorite. I use shade three. And then for my eyebrows, my favorite product of the year was Cabral. This is the one I use the most. I also love the like multi pen they just bring out. I also love the powders. I love the pens, pencils, whatever. But this is my favorite of all of them. So yeah, Cabral, shade three my dream. Going on the benefit train, mascara. Um, I had so many high-end favorite mascaras this year. I tried like 20 different ones and loved half of them. But the one mascara that I went through more than others, this is how I'm judging this. This is the one I went through like three tubes, which is very rare because I've got so many mascaras. But I constantly seem to reach for this. It's just a staple. It works so beautifully. It's black. It curls my lashes. It looks amazing. Roller lash by benefit. And then for drugstore, I went for my Maybelline Gigi Hadid. 
This was definitely a favourite for a very long time and not even just the Gigi Hadid one. The Lash Sensational in general, which is the name of this mascara, Lash Sensational, like you guys have seen me use it for ages and it's definitely one of my go-tos. I also loved ones by Chi Chi, Rimmel, heaps of different ones, but this is just the one that stood out to me that I used it a ton. Now for eyeliner, drugstore eyeliner, I chose the NYX Studio Liquid Liner. It was definitely my most used drugstore one. I just love the brush. It lasts all day. It's super black. Don't have to like go over it a million times and it's super affordable. It's just a really good go-to. I also love the other liquid liner by NARS that's like bigger packaging. Honestly, they seem to be like the same thing. It's called the matte liquid liner, I think. But yeah, NYX liquid liners are bomb. Love their colored ones as well. Those are another huge favorite. So yeah, if you're looking for liquid liners, black, colored, whatever, I've got the best ones in my opinion at the drugstore. And then for high end, I actually have two but I've only got one here. So one is the Manita by Tarte. I just constantly reach for this. It's black as shit. It is a really nice brush applicator. It's kind of like brush pen, like in the middle. It's really easy to use. Lasts all day. Just amazing. And my other favorite is at my beach house. It is the Tom Ford liquid eyeliner. I freaking love it. Both of them are amazing. The Tom Ford one is very extra. It's very expensive, but it just looks beautiful. This is still amazing. They're just as good as each other, so this one's cheaper. For bronzer quickly, we're going to switch the face, then do the eyes and lips. So, for my drugstore bronzer, I picked this one. I used this so many times since I first tried it a few months ago. The CoverGirl True Blend Bronzer. This is so shiny. It's almost like a highlighting bronzer, but I just love it. the color. The undertone is so warm, and it just literally makes you look like you've got that J-Lo glow. It is so beautiful and just makes you look sun-kissed and gorgeous and like a goddess and the formula is so nice that you run your finger over the powder and it's just like almost creamy it's just such good quality it's just the shade bronze hopefully you can still get it and then for high end my most used one hourglass radiance bronze light radiant bronze light i don't know if i'm saying that right this is a slightly shimmery bronzer also this one's a little bit more warm if you compare it, that's the hourglass one. It's quite sheer and buildable, which I absolutely love because I love to build up the bronze on my face. And it's just got a beautiful natural glow to it. So it just gives you that healthy sun-kissed look. It is stunning. I've used this a butt ton. You can't even tell, like I've still got so much product left, but trust me, this has been well, well, well loved this year. You guys have seen me use it a million times. A really good dupe is the um, Too Faced one in the Love Heart packaging, and it's called Sweet Tea, I think. I've used that so many times this year as well, but I think the hourglass one's still one. Contour, Makeup Revolution, and the single, as you guys know, the single and light, it's like the same thing, same company and everything. This contour kit is definitely my favorite one this year from the drugstore. It is so blendable and it's got really, really great colors as well. From high end, of course, it was my Pro Glow by Tarte. Also loved this for highlighting as well. Like if I went traveling, I would just use these highlighters. I really, really like the lit color and I would use Sculpt all the time to contour. I don't know how I haven't hit pan because honestly I use this to death. Honestly, this year has not been a big blush year for me. I can't even remember how many times I would have reached for blush. Honestly, most of the time I skip it in my videos, but when I did travel and stuff, I took my clinic and I think I showed these last year too. These are my favorite high-end blushes. The ones I've got right here are called Nude Pop, which is a beautiful, just like wearable shade that goes with any look. And then this one is called Melon Pop. I also love the peach one. There's some pink ones I love. I love so many of them. I've got like every color. They're the best blushes ever. And I don't really have a drugstore one. I just, nothing stood out. I didn't really use any. For highlighters, um, high end was really difficult. Like I used my Exo Beauty one a lot. But I don't know if that's like considered high end or what that's considered as because it's my own brand and I'm just like, I don't know. Whereas this one, I loved this. This was definitely like a standout for me. The Amrezy Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think they just relaunched it. I don't know if it's sold out already or what, but I had to mention it because it is just the most beautiful blinding formula and the perfect color. And I've just loved this this year. But to be honest, I really have switched up my highlighter pretty much like every time I do my makeup. Drugstore, I've got two. So one is the Soph palette. Honestly, this was just incredible. This is by Makeup Revolution. I've used this so many times in my tutorials over the last few months. This gold color is amazing. There's some more like intense ones, some more like smooth smooth ones, like that's more metallic, that's more smooth. So many amazing colors, definitely more for light, medium skin tones, not so much darker skin tones. Won't even talk about it much, raved about it a million times. And then the other one, which is a total new favorite, the Sun Kissed Glow Highlighter Palette, 
and the other highlighter palette by Chi Chi. I've been using these over the last few weeks and I am just blown away. I'll link below my video where I swatched and tried a bunch of them for the first time. But seriously, in this Heyman Island shade, like literally look at that. It is so vibrant and gorgeous. I'm obsessed. So good. Eyeshadow palettes. So high end, I chose Natasha Denona in general. I've probably used Natasha Denona palettes the most in terms of high end palettes. But on my channel this year, I've really just used different stuff all the freaking time. So my favorite Natasha Denona palettes are the gold palette, which is fairly new. I'm obsessed with it. And the Tropic palette. I was a huge fan of this one too. I love the shades. But just in general, Natasha Denona. It's so expensive though. This brand is like crazy expensive. It's definitely an investment. There's heaps of good other brands that have shadow palettes that are cheaper, but if you are splashing out, like they're amazing. Drugstore, of course, Shining So palette. Are you surprised? Literally used this a jillion times in my tutorials this year. I'm just obsessed with it. The quality is 10 out of 10. It's amazing. And the colors are 10 out of 10. I made it. It's my favorite. You can still get this off BH Cosmetics, Beauty Bay, Ulta, exobeautyshop.com and some other various websites around the globe. Another product that is similar, I've got a drugstore and a high end. Honestly, how many times do I use these? So the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. I love every shade. There's not one shade that I don't like. Seriously, these things are amazing. This one here is Smoldering Satin. They're just a liquid eyeshadow. By the way, my hand is stained because I did eyeshadow swatches earlier. This one is so pretty and I just love to pop them on my inner corner or on my eyelid or on top of eyeshadow. They're so good and I feel like this is the kind of thing that everyone could use. And then the drugstore one that's very similar that blew me away this year, Milani. This one's called Luster Light and these are lip, I mean not lip toppers, eyeshadow toppers. They just actually released metallic versions of these which are more of a like pigmented formula. I haven't tried them on my eyes yet but look at that. Very similar products. These are incredible. They last so good. So definitely check those out. They blew me away. Lip pencils, honestly, all I've used pretty much all year is Exo Beauty. Here's two of my favorite ones. This one is called Mari, which is what I'm actually wearing today. It's just a beautiful, like, nude shade, and it just looks so good on so many different people. And then another favorite is Michaela, which is more of a pink version. So I love pink lips. I've used this a ton this year. And then lip products. I don't really have certain ones once again because every single time I wear lipstick on a video, it's usually a different one. It's a new one, I'm trying out new ones. And I'm never like consistently using, you know, the same ones unless they're from my own brand, Exo Beauty. I know some of you guys won't care, but for those of you who do care about my brand, I'm gonna show you my top five at the moment that I've just been like reaching for and they're all kind of nude and wearable because that's what I chuck on day to day when I'm not really doing anything intense. Just stuff that goes with like any makeup look you know. This one is probably like my favorite of the year. Carpe Diem. This is a luxe liquid lipstick and Carpe Diem is just the perfect like lilac toned nudish pinkish color. This color called Strangers. This is more of like a color I would wear like for a bold look. Similar undertone, just darker, and this dry is completely matte. It is such a just, like, just stunning shade. I'm getting so tongue-tied right now because I'm very excited. <laughs> Ubuntu, you can tell I've loved this. This isn't even my only tube. I've got like four of them like this. Ubuntu is my perfect light pink nude. Rescue Me, which we did in collaboration with Hoo-Ha. Half of the profits go straight to Hoo-Ha, which is a charity, non-profit charity here in New Zealand called Helping Us, or Helping You Help Animals. So they're just a no-cool animal shelter, and yeah, half the proceeds of every sale of this lipstick goes straight to them so I definitely recommend checking it out and picking one up. Perfect for gifting as well if you've got a friend and this color can be worn many different ways. I actually love to layer it on top of both of these lip liners depending on the look I want. Also Deja Vu which is the lipstick I've got on right now on top of Mari. I'm just going to swatch at the very top here. It's more of a orangey kind of beige and I love it. I've worn it a shit ton this year. And then last but not least is the other like liquid lipstick I've worn it the most called Serendipity. This is more of a like pinky nude and it is just so stunning, look at that. So yeah, those are like my go-to hues on my lips. Comment down below and let me know what your go-to lipstick has been this year. I would love to know, because I feel like everyone has such different tastes in lipsticks these days. Back in the day, everyone loved NYX India, and then everyone loved um, ELF Natural Nymph, and then everyone loved MAC Myth, and then everyone loved MAC Velvet Teddy. Like there were all these trends, whereas I feel like now, everyone loves such different colors and different formulas and different brands like there's just so many lipsticks so comment below and let me know which your pick is the other favorite that really stood out is my favorite gloss of the year hands down easily this is dior addict lip maximizer in 002 this goes with everything i'll swatch on my hand so you can see it and then i'll also swatch on my lips it's just like a really light pink so you can wear it with like any color really because it's like a sheer pink but it's just so comfortable it's minty it's amazing and i love it so much and it's wearable and comfortable and everything a gloss should be it's not sticky you know it's just so nice and it's shiny 
like real glossy without glitter and stuff so I just think it's like the most flattering looking gloss and my hair doesn't get stuck in it like if my hair goes in it it just comes back out it's just magical it's the best look gloss ever for setting sprays I've only got a high-end one glam glow glow setter I'll put some on right now obviously love my Urban Decay I always will this is like a total favorite as well but I had to mention this one because it's just like a go-to I don't know I love the finish it gives your skin this beautiful like dewy glossy finish without looking too over the top it just looks healthy and slick and beautiful and really soaks up all the excess powders and just finishes you off 10 out of 10. Love this. Went through a couple of these this year. Oh I've got one more thing I wanted to mention because I use this so often this year. This is the Laura Geller Baked Body Frosting in Tahitian Glow. This particular shade is my favorite. I have used this so many times this year. I travel with it every time because if my fake tan is botched and patchy you just buff this with a big powder brush and it literally is flawless. It has coverage and it makes you glow and look so beautifully tanned. And I sometimes even use it on my face. I'm going to take a little bit and just like put it on this part of my arm. Can you see that? I'll try to do it over my veins so you can kind of see what I mean. Literally, it just made me look so airbrushed. It's hard to tell. Like if you did it in person, you'd be able to see. It is so, so beautiful. Yeah, you can totally tell. And it gives you that really nice glow. Like, you just look so healthy. Such a good body bronzer. Hands down the best body bronzer I've ever used in my whole life. That is the last favorite. Let me know what your favorite products of this year were. Like, something that really stood out to you. Like, for me, that NARS concealer just changed my life. I know I missed some steps, like, you know, eyeliner and eye primer and stuff. But it's just the same. And it's just boring, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, guys this was such an amazing year um i think i'm probably uploading this in the new year so hello i hope you had a good new year i'm so excited for this next year i'm excited to see where the beauty industry goes like what's going to be the next big trend obviously glossy lips are coming back and metallics and stuff like that so i'm very excited to see what else we start seeing soon have a prediction what do you guys predict predict your next trend down below i think cool tone eyeshadows are definitely coming back don't forget to subscribe and hit those notifications on so you're notified when i do upload my next few videos on all of the products I mentioned today. Don't forget to thumbs up. Did I say that already? I don't even know, but make sure you do it. I would really appreciate it. It really helps me get my videos out there to more people. And I will talk to you guys in my next video, showing you a full face of some of these products. Bye!